Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 653. Dr. Maupin knows what your skin needs. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today we're going to talk about your skin. Skin is very personal and it's very different to everybody's skin has different needs and different requirements. However, I'm going to talk about just general things for you to um, get specifics for specific problems. Then that is something you need a consultation with an esthetician or a nurse practitioner or a doctor to tell you exactly what you need. But there are some basics that skincare requires. So, uh, I was, I was born with great skin, okay, until I was 40. And I didn't take care of it, and I didn't do anything, and it was amazing looking skin. I turned 40, and all the bad things that it, I had done, where I hadn't washed my face at night, I hadn't put on sunscreen, I hadn't done what I should have done to care for the biggest organ of my body, all came home to roost. So if you think you've got great skin and it's going to last, it doesn't. And this is true for everybody. If you don't take care of it, then it is going to look old and it is going to have bad texture, bad coloration. You're not going to be able to look as young as you are. You may even look older than you are just because of your skin. So because of that, I'd like you to know as early as possible how to take care of your skin. Uh, And you can still have great skin after 40 if you take care of it. You're going to need to have a little extra work for repair, and we're going to talk about that next week. So um, I'm going to sing from the choir of You Have to Be Healthy. Your skin is how people know how healthy you are. They may not know in, in in their conscious mind how healthy you are, But if your skin looks unhealthy, if it's gray, if it has brown spots, if it has areas that are um, bad texture, if you have red spots, if you have dry skin, if you didn't take your makeup off for three days, for God's sakes, that will make you look like you're not well. Um, I can literally go to the gym and see people who I know have bad circulation because their face looks gray. I'm sure you've seen people like that. We unconsciously treat people (laughs) <laughs> who look older than they should be, like they're sick and old. That's an unconscious kind of thing. The view of their skin, especially, their facial structures, if they have sag, if they've got, if they've got um, big crevices in their face, makes us treat somebody like they're old. And then that person starts feeling old and acting old. So this is very important. Doctors look at your skin, too, as a sign of health. So why not prioritize your skin? Your skin is is your window to the world, everybody else's window to you. So the first thing I have to say is, if you're not drinking enough water, if you're not eating raw fruits and vegetables every day, if you're not giving up alcohol to a very minimum amount, uh, then, and oh God, if you're smoking. (laughs) then you can't plan on having healthy, good skin. It's just not going to happen. You have to feed your skin the right things and take away the toxins that are in our habits, like smoking and alcohol. So these are things that you have to be smoking. You can't have moderation in smoking, but you can have moderation in alcohol. And so I would suggest that. So those are the things you internally need to do to keep your skin healthy. Now, um, Cleansing your skin is a big deal, and you have to cleanse your skin before bed and in the morning because there's eight hours there where your skin is exfoliating dead cells, and you're rubbing it against sheets and whatever else, you're sweating, and you've got 
dead cells on your skin. And so that is going to make your face look cloudy or not clear or not shining or not healthy. So cleaning is very important. I use something called um, SkinCeuticals Glycolic Renewal because I'm almost 70 and I need to renew my skin every day. And I wash my face with um, a Clarisonic, which is very hard to find now, but this is the most amazing ultrasonic machine. Uh, machine that you can use to get deep into your skin and exfoliate it and cleanse it. I also use this. This is the SkinCeuticals. I brought I brought everything from my medicine cabinet that I use every day. So this is this is the glycolic renewal cleanser and it's remarkable. It makes your skin tight and it makes it shine. And shining isn't bad anymore. We used to think it was bad when we were young because that meant we had oil, oily skin. But now shining means we have healthy skin with enough oil. So it's all changed around like everything else. Now, after you wash your face, that is the time to feed your face. And so if you have a bunch of different products, you may want to, you may want to arrange them in the order of thickness. The thinnest product, like the serums, go on first. So a serum like CE Ferulic, which is uh, another SkinCeuticals product, is something that I use first because it has vitamin C and has other um, adaptogens that go into your skin and actually permeate your skin and feed it, feed it from the outside. So that is something I don't just use it on my face. I use it on my neck. I use it on my chest. And I use it on my arms. So, this, so that means it's going to be a little more expensive. If you use it on your arms, you're going to use it up faster. But I use it on my arms where I'm getting these little, these little lines and kind of icky looking skin and it's kind of revived it. So this is something that you can do, but your face is the most important and it's most exposed to the sun and to the toxins in our environment. Um, you also have to hydrate your skin, which means you're going to hydrate it from in inside you. You're going to drink water and drink water and drink more water and less caffeine because caffeine makes you pee and the water doesn't go to your skin. So drinking water is important, but it, you have to trap it in your skin so you don't dry out. It's winter here in St. Louis, and I have a humidifier by my bed so that my skin doesn't dry out all night because I can't get my humidity up past like 25% without a humidifier. So I have the humi a cold steam humidifier that pretty much goes over the whole bed. And that's one of the ways I do it, but then I have to trap the hydration in my skin, and so that is what moisturizers do. So during the winter, I use, um, I, this is what I'm using now, which is um, SkinCeuticals Age Interrupter Advance. It's thick, and it, it, you put that on at night, not during the day, but you put that on at night before you go to bed, after you've washed your face, and put your serums on. During the day, I don't have a bottle of that because I've used it up. I use Triple Lipids, which is a SkinCeutical product, and that during the day is thin enough that I can wear foundation. So I put that on to trap the water in my face, in my skin of my face, so that I don't evaporate. So that is something, it's not a, um, it doesn't trap uh, or stop sun, but it does trap water inside of your skin. If you're really dry, say you live in Phoenix or you live on the desert, then I would use a, the age interrupter both day and night because you have more evaporation than those of us who live in more moderate climates. Um, before I go to bed, I use CE Ferulic as well, unless I think my texture looks bad. And then there's a retexturizing activator that you can use from, uh, from SkinCeuticals as well. I use that. And sometimes if I feel like I'm getting some little wrinkles, then I use res, resveratol. All of these things are specific these serums are specific to me except the CE Ferulic. I think probably everybody should use that, but I use that before I put on my moisturizer at night. So those are, those are some of the rules. The next rule is sun damage. Now, I believe we should have some sun absorption of vitamin D, and I believe about a half an hour of exposure to sun when you have sun in your area without sunscreen is a good idea, just because you're going to get what the sun gives you without burning and without damage in that time, especially if it's morning sun. Then you put on your sunscreen. In general, all year, I put my sunscreen on. Um, and this is not a SkinCeuticals product, but I love this product. It's Color Science. 
And I'm a girl that never wore foundation. I never had to. I just put lipstick on and mascara and I went. So this is a lot more work than I ever did when I was younger. But the Color Science um, has different colors of foundation sunscreen and it doesn't look like you've got foundation on. It is very, very light and it is very natural looking, but it'll hide some of the brown spots. It'll hide some wrinkles. It really is a great product. I've never seen anything quite like it. So that's the sunscreen aspect. You have to have some kind of sunscreen that you put on after you've put on your moisturizer. So that's somewhat it, except every once in a while I will vary my products and use um, this, which is really great, Definage. So Definage has um, a scrub that you can use once a week and then a serum and a, um, and a moisturizer. All of those products, I usually alternate into these products whenever the seasons change. And they're better for spring than winter. Now, you know what else is really good, really good for your skin? Exercise, <laughs> who knew? When you exercise and you sweat, and your sweat glands release good oil, usually for those of us who are over 40, we need good oil from our, from our uh, oil glands, then we have good oil that moisturizes our face. So every time we work out and sweat, we get that lovely glow from the sweating and the oil that it is produced when you sweat. So those are, those are actually things you can, that will benefit all of your health, but you'll be able to see it on the outside. And I know that we don't ever want to do something that <laughs> we can't see. Now, after menopause, there are two other things you have to do. Sadly, we have to do more as we get older. Um, estrogen makes our skin soft. So if we don't replace our estrogen, then our skin looks rough and may look thick, or it may actually thin out because if we don't have testosterone, the skin gets very thin and you can kind of see through it and it droops. It's like um, if you had a, um, a draping dress, like a satin or a silk dress, it's going to drape, it's thin. It doesn't hold up, but if you have, um, but you have a uh, body con dress that ha is thicker and elastic, it holds right in. So when we lose our hormones, we start losing the elasticity in our face. We start, start losing the padding in our face that makes us look youthful. And we also start um, getting thinner skin and drooping skin, like the satin dress. It's not that pretty, though. So because of those things, adding back your hormones is vital to you looking beautiful. Now, I will also tell you that uh, I have knowledge that all the stuff that people say who are actors and actresses that they do or don't do isn't necessarily true. They are not, they haven't given an oath to tell the truth. They're just doing an ad or they're talking about what they do that is that something everyone can do. So they don't tell you about the extraordinary treatments they do for their skin so that they can look young. So if you look at television, you go, oh my gosh, she looks great, but all she uses is oil of Olay. That's not all she's using. I can promise that. Because I've seen people who just use oil of Olay and it's not that. That's not the outcome. It's not a bad product. It's just that that's not all you need. Um, when, if somebody can't remember to wash their face and put on their moisturizer at night, I'm hoping that they remember to brush their teeth. So when you brush your teeth to go to bed, you need to put your toothbrush right by the, the wash and the moisturizer and anything else you put on your face at night before you go to sleep because that will remind you. And I used to say that to my GYN patients who are on birth control pills. I'd say, put your birth control pills right by your, by your toothbrush. And I'm not sure if they remembered their birth control pills and then they brushed their teeth because that triggered them or the other way around. So we've talked about all of the things that you need to do for your face and the products that are, uh, that are something that you need to embrace. You can embrace other lines of products. We have all of these at our spa because we have tried all the products. We know what works best for different kinds of skin. Like we have like, Julie, my office manager, has the opposite skin that I have. 
So my skin is, is dark and it doesn't have much pink in it and it basically is Italian skin. Hers is very sensitive skin. It is um, light. She's a redhead. She has red in her skin. And so she and I, if both of us like the same product, it's a done deal for everybody. So when, we have, when we've tested these products, our staff tests them. They see if they like them or not. And if they don't like them, if I'm the only one that likes them, then maybe we'll keep a few on the shelf. But if we all like them, then that's something that we'll recommend to our patients. When our patients come into biobalanced skin, they, they should, sometimes they want to jump to whatever treatment they want, but they should be asking for a consultation, which is free. And in that consultation, we will evaluate your skin. We can evaluate it visually or from what you tell us. We can also evaluate it um, with a photo evaluation of the condition of your skin. With that in mind, we can then decide on what exactly your skin needs. And the first step is products. Because if we can fix whatever is bothering you with products, that's, that's the easiest fix there is. If there's something specific that products are going to take so long to fix that you, that won't be a, a good time frame for you, then we jump to more interesting procedures and things that we do with laser and things we do with injections and, um, and hydrofacials. So, all of these things are available, but we start with products and we start with skincare. And that is so important, and you can start that all on your own. You don't have to come into a spa to get that. Um, I, the earlier the better, even before your skin starts changing and you look in the mirror and go, oh my God, when did that happen? Um, it would be better if you did some preempting and, and uh, worked on your skin ahead of time, before you're 40, before the damage starts showing. Most of the damage that is done to our skin is done before we're 18. So you can't go back, but you can start repairing it earlier, and that helps. I think I had my first laser for removal of brown spots when I was 40 because I had so many brown spots. And you get those every year, so I have to um, not only use product, but use a laser to uh, get rid of the things that have popped up over the year. So there's always something. In any case, um, I would advise you to get an individual treatment plan from your spa or our spa, Biobalance Skin, and um, you can go to our website or biobalanceskin.com and find out how to do that. Um, and we have all the products listed there that I listed this morning. So if that's, this is not necessarily a commercial, but if you want to know what to use, those are the things that we have tested and find that work best for most people. If you need individualized care, you're going to have to have a consult and find out what you need specifically to take care of whatever is bothering you about your skin. I hope this helps sort out all of those things that are popping up on the internet that say, do this and it'll fix all of that. In general, one thing isn't going to fix it you're going to have to have a different lifestyle and you're going to have to take care of your skin like you take care of your children or take care of, of your dog. You're going to have to take care of yourself as well as you do the other things. So thank you for listening. I hope this helped you make some decisions. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.